You good? We can see it. Uh-huh. All right. There we go. All right. So first thing I'm going to talk about with Jacorian Bennett is his versatility. But this is really, I would say, falls in the theme of what the Raiders have been drafting. Guys, you see him out here on the outside. He's playing off man. You see him a little tight, quick pedal. He's not flying up out of there. Breaks on this, hard tackle, minimal gain. You see him on the outside coming up, making tackles. You see him on the outside here, bottom of the screen, playing some press man. You, and you see him, and we're going to talk about this later on, He's it's, it's pretty easy for him to turn and run with guys down the field. That's, you know, what you're going to see best from him. <clears throat> Excuse me, in coverage. But also... He'll play a little slot. He'll come in and, and be the actual true nickel when they came in. Third and longs, third and, and you know, got to have it, and it's a passing tendency team. Bennett will come in and play that true nickel, not in base, not in first and ten nickel, no. Third down nickel, he'll come down, slide into the slot, play man, play zone, uh, you know, inside. Here does a solid job again. Run with guys downfield. Okay, so outside, inside, again he's gonna be. Oh wait, what? Lining up as a linebacker in a blitz package. You see him sugaring that gap. Is he gonna blitz? No, he's gonna drop down to coverage. Okay, he does a really good, really good job. Just blanket in this guy, taking away that. Uh, inside breaking throw right there. Uh, I would say because, you know, this is a blitz, so it's got to happen on time. It's got to happen in rhythm. So the fact that he puts his body right there really does, you know, makes that guy fight around him. You know, the quarterback's got to get that ball out. And he did a great job taking that away. It definitely looked like a uh, quarterback was looking there. Again, lining up in the nickel. Okay, what, what is he doing? Oh, he's dropping to the Tampa t a hole, playing the robber. And cover two, okay, making tackles on the opposite side of the field. So the versatility is there with this guy, Jacorian Bennett. I do think that that's a strong reason, in addition to the athletic profile, why he was drafted. You see him here playing some zone. Now it's not just man, it's zone, doing a really good job, taking a peek, knowing, okay, this guy's going to go ahead and go fast across the hash. That means that's the corners, man. He's going to go ahead and peek back and work to get into that passing lane. Really good, strong zone maintenance as an inside zone corner. I think that there's a potential there. There's a chance in passing situations if they do want to bring in a true nickel. And we we're talking earlier about that effortless speed. And this is just, I'm just going to let, let it run. Okay. This is him running with future NFL players you know, just walking these guys down. He is not ever beat. There's no time I have ever seen anyone put the jets on him and run past him. He is legit fast. Okay. He's, you know, so, uh, you know, and I just wanted to put this in here and emphasize this. Like he, he you know, he, he's never, he's never getting stressed. No one, no one's putting like a foot on him or anything like that. Even when he, even when he has bad technique, he recovers and gets back in phase. So now let's talk about, I mean, those were all untargeted reps, right? Let's talk about when he actually is targeted. I think I might have a couple untargeted reps here, but, you know, he's under stress. He gets some, some good routes. So this is really uh, when he is in man-to-man -man coverage because this is truly how we judge corners uh, on TDL. So. We're talking about man coverage at the bottom of, bottom of the screen going up against Ohio State. So we know that this guy's good. Number four, whoever that is. I just watched numbers. Um, and, and what I like about this rep is we're real patient. Just look at his body language. When he starts getting that vertical stem, because he has that speed, it allows him to be, be relaxed right here. Just calm down. Okay. And so now when he sees this wide receiver drop his hips, he can kind of hold on a little bit. Oh, you want to push? I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold on to you as long as you're pushing off of me. As soon as he lets go, then it lets go. Fights through, fights through that catch point. Comes down. Does, I mean, no. I, I would like to see him. Does he punch it? Yeah, punches and rakes it. So great job at the catch point right there. Okay. 
top of the screen. Going up against, uh, I think this is Marvin Harrison Jr. Maybe, or no, 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 it's number four again. So this time we're going to get a little motor. Bam, 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 bam. You watch his feet. He lands the hands and he's really in control of this rep right here. But I think the size can get to him a little bit. So watch how easily this Ohio State corner just kind of rips up and kind of gets him stacked. It was, it just took a couple steps and that shouldn't have happened just based off of like where we started this rep out right here for, for Bennett. Right. So I think that this is a little bit of a size limitation, a strength limitation showing its head right here. But even though we do get stacked, this guy really should have gave him a lot more at the top of that route and just killed him at the top of the route right there. But he doesn't give him a rocker. He doesn't give him a jab step, anything. Okay. After, after he gets some stacked and NFL, wide receiver is going to like jab step you right here or give you a rocker step at the top and just destroy you when you're in this position. Right. Um, but we don't get that. Okay. Um, Oh, maybe we get a little head fake. We got a little head fake there. He's looking through his hips. Okay. And we see him hawk this one down, get around, kind of, kind of affect that one. That, that was not a catch. That was not a catch. So, he does recover. We got the ability to recover some of that recovery speed. Okay. Here he is at the bottom of the screen. We're getting some stuff here. This is this is a really strong rep um, uh, route running wise from the wide receiver here at the bottom of the screen. Get that foot fire. But we see Bennett again, patient, patient. He's going to go land those hands again. He's not in, a, in such a hurry to stay on that upfield shoulder. He's, he's, he's letting that guy run. Right. He's not like, oh, I need to get up out of here. Right. So he's able to sink those hips, come back around and make it a really competitive rep, even though he does give up this catch. You know, he he's not able to again against that uh, maybe slightly smaller receiver when that smaller receiver was pushing off of him. He was able to hold on. But against this bigger guy right there, you see it just creates just that little bit of separation, even though he does uh, sink his hips and he does make it a competitive route. So, again, that's the size thing happening. I, so I, I do want to say, uh, I mean, the quarterback was late too on that throw. So let's say it was uh, that throw was more on time, and he's coming out of his break. You know, it, it might be a little different of a rep. I mean, he's he, this is it. This is it right here. It should have been, right, you know, on the money right here. You know what I mean? So I think that from here on out, he's really beat. And then he just, yeah, you know, the size radius of, the, of this particular guy who's going to be a first round pick also. So <laughs> keep that in mind. That's a really good player that he's going up against. Wasn't it Aiden O'Connell with anticipation there? Or not? Uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so this one should have been um, – okay, yeah. This one uh, was going to go ahead and be called back, obviously. You see that. Um, but, you know, we got too many men on the field. Free play, and you just see him. Guess he get he gets it just a it's and it's not even that, that much of a jab, you know. When he gets that jab, he jumps out there, completely whiffs, lands nothing, okay, and gets beat, and it allows this quarterback to just pull that trigger right there. And I just think that we're gonna watch him with his uh, press. He's gonna guess a lot. We're gonna see him be patient, and then just guess inexplicably. So we, we we're gonna keep an eye on that. Now, really, the biggest thing for him, uh, for Aiden, o or I'm sorry, for Jacorian Bennett. I'm mean, keep on talking about Aiden O'Connell. For Jacorian Bennett, bottom of the screen, is finding the ball in the air. We've seen some good examples of that. Okay, I think here again, this is a really good player. Kind of beats him, but he has that speed to track him down. How fast is Marvin Harris? <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> but I mean, I think we once you get your hand, I mean, just the, is he is he locating the ball right here? Yeah, he's lo, he's he's turning. He's locating the ball, and then and, but then you know I don't know I, 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 he doesn't trust it. Maybe he sees that maybe it's going further than he, but once you have the hand on right here and you locate that ball you gotta you gotta run the route you gotta keep your eyes up on that ball 
so you can so you can go and run it. Maybe and maybe he's seeing that it's overthrown and that's why he gives up on that. So let's 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 see how it works out. Now this one, um, let's watch. So he's a little bit. I, I get. I don't know if he's talking to someone. He's he's up out of his break. He gets beat a little bit. He's he's not fully in his stance. Uh, so he gets beat to the outside a little bit, and then we see him here. Once you get in, and again, you get the hands on. You gotta you gotta feel him. You gotta feel this guy. And he doesn't feel this guy cut this off, and he just keeps on running. And you, and you see him like feel, realize it too late, and he falls, and the guy just cut, high points it and just posterizes him right there. Unfortunately, there's a lot of this, so we're gonna keep on going with this. Here's another one. This time he's playing in the slot. It's cover five man under. Okay, and we're just gonna let him run by because we're in a trail position. That's should be fine. Um, our but it should, yeah, it should be fine. But the safety actually hangs about the dry and jumps on this. Maybe it's, this is a blown coverage. But anyways, he should be good. The corner falls off. There's two guys, and again, size is a thing. I mean, maybe I'm just seeing like the greatest plays, and these are just all first round wide receivers that are going up against him. But you know, we're not we're not seeing him try even to punch it out, rake it out, time it, you know, like you see some smaller guys have some success with that. Let's see. All right, so here he is, bottom of the screen. We're getting on our heels a little bit. I feel like our need, feet need to be a lot uh, a lot hotter than this. Okay, we get up on our heels and we're gonna get kind of beat. And Marvin Harrison gets that little push off. Bam. And we're off to the races, and again, once we have our hand hand on and we locate that ball, we need to finish, run through, run through. But he doesn't run through. He he again takes his eyes off of it and allows himself to get pushed off, off on. You got to hold on to something. You got to hold on to an elbow. Hold on to a, to you know to some jersey and lock your elbow down low. Do something. Do not allow this guy to push off of you because they'll never call it. And again, loses the ball in midair. Bottom of the screen, or top, sorry, top of the screen. Another press man rep. We're going to see him. I think his feet are good here. I think we're in a solid position. And again, this guy cuts it off. And I don't know. I don't know if it's a, it's just a lapse in attention span right there. And you see him get posterized again and get called for a defensive pass interference. I don't want to beat on this man, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be done with it. Um. Uh, yeah. So, so I, I got an interesting question about that because his ball skills is something that's actually been like it's a revered thing because he has so many interceptions. So are his interceptions coming from inside when he's playing zone? Like, where where are his interceptions coming at? Um, I I watched. Five games of his, I did not see any interceptions. So, <laughs> yeah, see, he's to, yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know. That, that, was, that was the thing about him coming out. So, that's interesting. It's interesting to watch because watching I mean, that. I, watching I, so, that, I, I mean, oh, I watched him against good, the best teams I could find. You, you know, you know what I'm saying. So, like, if I'm going through the the schedule or whatever, and I'm seeing him play Western Kentucky, and he's got a bunch of stats against Western Kentucky, I'm happy for him. You know what I'm saying, but I'm trying to watch him play Marvin Harrison. I'm yeah. trying. I'm trying to watch him play against like the big teams. Like uh, the SMU wide receiver was giving him work, yeah, bro. Right. He's, he's going to the Chiefs, I think. Rache Rice is filthy, man. Like I was watching that, like shocked. I was sitting there, like, oh my god, he is killing it. And at, at one point, I mean, Jacoby Bennett also. It's. He's got to find that fine line because he needs to be a lot more physical and he's trying and he's getting called for a, a lot of pass interference mm -hmm. for it as well, especially like down the field. So I don't know. He's got to get the weight room. He's got to learn to be a lot more comfortable playing, um, you know, in that back shoulder position, you know, or stay on top of everything if you can't do it like, you know, Casey Hayward. Uh, does it so uh, if, if, if he's not if he can't be comfortable 
playing in a backfield position. But if that's the case, he's a zone corner only, and that's the reason why he's a fourth round pick. So, so, so let me, just because from watching this, just from watching this, and, and like he's a slack guy, right? I think that it, it, now here's the problem. Now here's the problem. Okay. Here's a, here's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What, like watching Nate Hobbs and they're saying, okay, we're going to put him in the nickel. Okay. It's like, wow, one of the best thing on tape was his tackling, and you got to tackle as a nickel. Uh-huh. You got to tackle, right? Jacoby Bennett does not tackle. He does not want to tackle. He doesn't get, get off blocks. He is very content to stay blocked. Okay, he's like, okay, cool. I'm good with that, right? Like, you'll see the path that he's taking is like, I'm trying to get behind my teammates. You know, like, like he does not want to put his face in the fan. So I think that he is like a sub pass only player. And I think that there is definitely some good zone reps in there, right? Uh Um, And the fact that they had so much trust in him to give him so many different hats, you saw like the the different ways that he's being used. And even in the breakdown, he's playing inside, he's playing outside, right? Uh So it's, it's obvious that they think that he has a good enough football acumen Okay, trust me, they're not just doing this with regularly like anyone, right? Like, yeah, they're giving it to the guys that they trust. So, um, maybe maybe pass only, but yeah, like first down, he's not running out there with the with the unit. Like he's he's gonna be hiding behind guys. He doesn't want to tackle straight up. I mean, who's the biggest corner in the roster? It's Nick Hobbs, right? Hobbs has to be the biggest corner. It's Duke Shelley. He's five nine, one eighty two. Duke Shelley's pretty small. Yeah, Duke Shelley, can, Duke Shelley can ball. He's gonna he's gonna play. I like Duke Shelley a lot, actually. So um, um, that's that's a good question. Uh, they don't have any six two corners. Oh no, do they? How tall is Hodge? Six one, listed yeah. at six one. Well, he's, he's a Gus Bradley guy, so it's really what he is. He's a Gus Bradley corner. <laughs> That's what this. Oh, face on. No, no, no. Face on's not on the team. Yeah, he is. No, he's back on. He's back on the team. Face on, technically. Okay. Another Gus Bradley guy. Another Gus Bradley guy. They brought the Gus Bradley guys back. Maybe they want face on to play man coverage, I guess. Sam Webb listed as six foot. And then. He's supposed to have him go to OTAs, man. Uh, what Devontae Adams say he's Jahir Alexander? <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was actually pretty funny that everyone was like, yeah, I'd love to hear that. And, like, this is good for Sam Webb and everything like that, right? Huh. And I was just thinking, like, I was like, wait. So he asked him, like, for tips after he gets, like, destroyed in one-on-ones? Like, yeah. 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 Devontae's like, I like that about him. I love, I, I, lo- I love it. I love it after I catch a touchdown on him. He's like, how could I have done that better? Like, Because <laughs> I think Devontae just said that he's, he's kicking his butt. Like, he even said it. The, exactly. Exactly. Like, quote, you read the whole quote. And he that's says, what he's saying. <laughs> he's like, yeah, that- but I kick his butt every time. He comes and asks questions. <laughs> and I really love it. I really love that. <laughs> that had me rolling when I read that. I was like, so he's, he's – so. <laughs> When I dust him every time, you know what I'm saying? Right. When he, when he comes back and asks me questions, I love that. That's what you hear Alexander used to do. When I used to wax him, too, he used to come ask me questions. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. Oh, yeah, me dying with Thank that. you. But, uh, we, but, yeah. we, we, we could do a, maybe like a little YouTube shorts thing, uh, Devontae Adams uh, translations. You know what I'm saying? Let you know what, let you know what he's really saying here, guys. Yeah, he's better, yeah. All right, so all right, so we went over some quarterbacks. Um, this is Corey and Bennett. I mean, no other really big news uh, outside of that. I mean, really, we didn't know that much information from OTAs. I mean, we didn't 